Hello there, my dear and bright students. This is your teacher Shugupta Pasal, and today we will talk about history of spices. Just because in the colonization, every European trader was interested in spices. Just because spices did not grow in Europe, they were so expensive that people kept them in a locked cupboard. European served spicy meals to the guests to show off their wealth. The most expensive spice was pepper. Traders traveling with pepper had armed guards. The spice trade developed throughout South Asia and Middle East. The Egyptians used herbs for mummification, you know, to preserve their mummy. The ancient Egyptian medical papyrus knew and used cumin, cassia, cardamom, mustard, sesame, and saffron. Early people uses were connected with magic, medicine, religion, tradition, and preservation. Who transported the spices? Initially, Indonesian merchants traveled around China, India, and the Middle East used to do so. Arab merchants facilitated the routes through the Middle East. But the main trading started from India. Indian spices as well as luxury goods traded along the incense route, along the silk route connecting China and the Mediterranean Sea through the Asian continent. The most important discovery were the monsoon winds and sailing gradually replaced land routes. Spices were among the most demanded and expensive products in Europe. The most common were black pepper, cinnamon, cumin, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves. And the most exclusive was saffron, used for coloring and flavoring. Right, guys? Herbs were also used to help preserve meat or cover the rotting taste of meat that could not be refrigerated at that time. Herbs also helped cover the smell of people who bathed rarely. Yes, this is also true. But my dear Falconians, this period was not favorable to the progress of herbs in medicine. So, these cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon were the main and expensive items in the spices. Right guys, so the trading which I told you started from India just for the search and for the trade of spices and herbs. In the next topic, we will talk about the voyage of Christopher Columbus. Till then, see ya.